and welcome back. I'm Carter the Great Bear of the North, and this, as you can see, is Planet Zoo. And we are in the Pueblo Revival train station now because the North American pack just dropped. And I think we need to put something right in this corner right here. And I think I know exactly what that thing is. Because ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be adding some prairie dogs to our station here. We've already got the staff room and a zookeeper's hut, so I think we can just build... Let's see. Let's remove this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. We'll just build a door through here. It's been a while since I've played with this enter. I just want to explore some of the North American stuff, so let's do this in a little bit real time. Let's go with... What are these even called? Wow. It's been a while. Mud wall. Right. Mud wall. There we go. There's the mud wall door. And what is the color? D9BC9A. Let us copy that. There we go. Mud wall door. Yeah, let's go with the base. There we go. Let's build that up there. And... Let's change all of these colors. Oops. There we go. And this isn't changing anything. What? No. <gasps> do you mean BC9A? There we go. Okay. And now that that's there, we can just do this. There we go. Fantastic. That's going to be the door into the prairie dog section. Let's probably do the need to then delete that door, whatever. Or that wall that we had previously deleted. That's fine. I don't really mind. We have plenty of money. There we go. So, yeah, nobody's even been using these benches. So let's just. Yeah, let's exit that. Let's just. There we go. Let's delete this picnic area. I mean, I do still have one up here, so people really do want to sit down, which again, they don't seem to want to. I'll need to put like a planter back there. Let's also move this just right there. Let's also get rid of this. Fantastic. Here we go, this is where we're going to build our prairie dogs. Right, we need to get... Now what kind of a backdrop do we want? I think we just want the dirt backdrop. That's what I'm thinking. Let's raise the terrain, flatten the foundation, which just bring some of this up through here. There we go. Where's the door? There's the door. We want the door to be at the back. So you know what, let's raise it all the way up to... Just to level. Just below, the, below where the train is at. There we go. There's no way the prairie dogs are going to get through there. Lovely. Actually, it's not quite lovely because it doesn't quite connect. There we go. I will fix that later. But for now, we definitely want like a raised area up here. Right. So let's just take... So I want the the area for the zookeepers to be like the lowest area of this section, but we want them, again, the prairie dogs, to be mostly in and around here. So I think we might have to extend this into the mountain a little bit. That's okay. Let's see how far we can... Oops. Control is the way to get rid of that. So let's... Okay. Oh boy, this is me getting back into this after more than a month. This is a little bit strange. So I'm playing other games, some of which are construction games in the meantime. And uh, I'm not going to lie, some of these controls are a little, feeling a little bit foreign to me right now. There we go. We need some of these. Let's just drop that down right there. Boom. 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 Lovely. Where's the rooftop? Every time I say rooftop, I think of that, uh... Oh, who was it? Jonas Brothers song? Rooftop! I, I don't know why, that's just how my brain works. 
And that's fine. My brain works exactly as it is intended to. There we go. Oops. Let's bring some of this up. There we go. Just to think this. That is fine. There, that creates that border. This creates this border. Let's just carve out some of this. Yeah, prairie dogs. And every time I hear think prairie dogs, I think of that line from from Rent. Do you know the way to Santa Fe? Tumbleweed, prairie dogs, that kind of thing by uh, by Collins, which is it, that's an absolutely fantastic musical. Even if you're not a fan of musicals, which you should be, uh, Rent is just fantastic. There we go. And let's get some of this up. There we go. I think this is, I don't know how big this is, because they need, I think, 300 and something square meters. So you know what? Let's just flatten that out just a little bit more. Give them a little bit more room to, to grow, to run around, to have fun, to play in. There we go. There you go. That's our. This is a, the shell of our prairie dog habitat. And let's hope. Let's hope. Crossed fingers. Prairie dogs can't actually get over this barrier. So, speaking of, let's get some. Well, first of all, let's get the the habitat gate in there, right in the door. Let's just. Oh yeah, we can't. It needs to be flattened. All right, flatten to foundation. Let's just do something like this. There we go. Oh boy, this is... Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. There's the mill there. Boom. No, I don't want angle snap. Thank you very much. Boom. Technically, I mean, we can give the prairie dogs a little bit... We can go outside the boundaries of where they're actually going to be roaming. Because they're not going to make it into those areas anyways. So the game will just automatically calculate what they can access. I'm also hoping the prairie dogs can't climb. Didn't think of that. Oh well, we will find out. We will find out. We can always adjust this as necessary. There we go. And the back of the barrier back of the barriers. Let's get this node. Let's move that out there. Fantastic. Glass entrance gate. No, why not? Why not? Is it height mode undulating? There we go. Right, that's it. Because otherwise it digs them a little bit further into the ground. Nope, that still doesn't want to work. Okay. Why not? Why not? But you do want to work down here. Okay. We'll just do it that way. We'll just do it right there. Um, where'd you go? Where did you go? Uh, what don't you want to go there? Obstructed by what? Is it the path? It's probably the path. My guess is it's the path. So, yay! Okay. Back to... Back to life. Back to reality. Uh, is it... It's not the train station, is it? No, there doesn't... There's nothing back there. That's one thing that I will never fully get used to with this game, is how everything is just, like, calculated. Okay, so it is the pathing. So let's move this. Let's see if we can't do something with this. No, it doesn't want to go any closer? No, okay. So let's just leave that where it is. And let's try to get the path down. No, okay, so that's... It appears this doorway just isn't going to work. Okay, so maybe... What if we take this a little bit back here? We just go back here. Will it work back? Okay. It's not going to work. It's not going to work anywhere but there. Cool. Well, maybe... Oh, I know. I know what we do. Instead of this... Boom. Delete. And 
Delete that. Let's just bring that door back there. Remember to put the path back in so that this can actually move up here. This, that's okay. Let's do the undo button. There we go. So everything actually connects. There we go. This. There we go. Let's just build our staff stuff through here instead. That should be far more conducive for us. So let's move that barrier right, that node right there, that node right there. We should be able to drop in a habitat gate just like that. Brilliant, the pathing connects through there, but we can't terrain two on even replacement. Okay, then let us even the terrain out. Boom, and yeah, oh, oh, right. So we're gonna have to go back through here. And that kind of changes this whole, the whole look of this area, but that's fine. And then they will go connect through to, I guess, the staff door here. Staff door back here. Oh, there's a staff room right there. So how do I get to the staff room? That's that. Huh. Um, yeah, let's just flatten all this out. And then we'll figure out everything else. Facilities. Okay. Staff facilities. We just need keeper huts. Keeper huts small. Okay. Let's... Let's drop the keeper hut. Actually, you know what? Let's just add the keeper hut to that building. There we go. There we go. I think that worked. Let's get a staff room in there. Is it? No, it's not a staff room. There's a staff room. No. Integral terrain for path connection. Where's the path connection? Yeah. No, it should be working. Okay. Well, for now. Oh, I know. It's too high. That's the red. There we go. There's the staff. There's the path connection. Wonderful. Let's actually hook up the paths. Nope. Okay. What? Let's delete that. Let's get the train moving. There we go. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I can just move this. There. Flatten the train down. This is this is how you know, this is how Planet Blue works sometimes. There we go. Just We'll build things in, and then we will drop them down. And... These two are okay, but the one that's actually level with the train isn't... Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Get, get all of that out of the way. Oh, boy. This is what happens when you leave a game for a month. Two months, maybe? I don't really remember how long it's been. There we go. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. Because that's actually going up. Why? Okay. This is not how this episode was planning to go. That's okay. That is okay. That's something that we need to uh, accept more. I think we're not going to go into the time. Okay. Let's just flatten up the train. No, 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 no. Whatever. This is inside. I, I, I. There we go. Pass. Will these work now? Nope, nope, still. Train to an end. Okay. Come on. Will you work now? There we go. Oh boy, good. Now, now how does the how do they how do they actually access this? No, it doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put the zookeeper, and I'm just gonna plop place him right there. There you go. Fantastic. Good. They now have access to the uh, to the prairie dogs. Yeah. So what is this habitat? Prairie dogs. Yeah. Nice. And they've already bought some on the animal markets. This is good. But you need to get assigned. No work zone. Create a work zone. Boom. 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 Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, but the people can't access the. Mm. Okay. Just curious to me that the 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 fo lovely folks that actually deliver the animals can't access anything right now. So maybe this has to move out. This way. We remove this door. Yeah, we're gonna have to fiddle with this quite a bit. I think that works. Let's remove this. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. There we go. Pass. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's just flatten up. Nope, nope. Flatten! Okay. <laughs> Yay! This is fun. Um, <laughs> no, it actually is. It actually is. It feels good to be back to this. Intersecting terrain. Intersecting terrain. Really should have planned this entire thing out way more than I did. But uh, that's okay. So... We're going to need something like this to connect. No, I don't want angle snap. And terrain. No, no, okay. Path terrain. Let's push all of this stuff down. Let's see how much we can actually flatten everything out. That might help, I guess, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is messy. Let's just, yeah, let's just delete that. Let's get the pathing in first, and then we'll connect everything. I did have it. There we go. Nope, this was this one work. Flatten terrain. Nope, that doesn't want to work. Okay, tunneling. There we go. Lovely. Good. Now the facilities. Go back to work, staff room. Ooh, come on. There we go, there's the entrance. Let's drop that down. Where where are you? Where are you? There we go. And does this want to connect? Please connect. So maybe we have to go up. Uh, let's change the elevated length to just... It's, this is really janky and I'm not happy with this, but... Let's drop that down. What? Come on, where? I just had you. There we go. That's flat. Nope. Okay. That's obstructed. That. This is fine. This is. Okay. Let's try another method. Let's try another method. Nope. That's not going to. I don't, I don't, I don't know how this is all going to work. Let me, you know what? Let's work in the prairie dog part. I'll finish that pathing stuff off camera. So yeah, I believe this should be big enough. We needed about 300 and some odd meters. This is 988 meters squared. This is fantastic. 
So, the prairie dogs. Let's see. Habitats. P-R-A-I-R. Let's see what kind of enrichments items they got. They got a sprinkler. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a sprinkler for them. Right in the front, so that the people can see it. We're going to get some a melon feeder. Yeah, who doesn't like melon? Who doesn't like melon? So that's uh, the toys as well. Let's get an herb scent marker just up there. There we go. Beds and shelters, heaters and coolers, food and water. Yeah, they definitely need food. Oh, there are they have arboreal feeding platforms? I don't need that. I guess their plat feeding platforms are arboreal. But they don't they don't have any climbing requirements from what I can tell. So let's just build that right. Oh no, 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 no. I do not want I do not want you to flatten the terrain. I do not want you to flatten the terrain. Don't don't give me that. There we go. Although I do like the fact that they now uh, randomize the rotation of things for you if you want to. Okay, so we've got our entrance. We've got the area. Let's get some nature. Prairie dogs are black-tailed prairie dogs. They are from grassland and deserts, North America. So continent, North America. Biome, grassland, and desert. Let's see what we got in terms of plants, in terms of actual trees. Foliage type? Trees. Actually, you know what? Let's just take these. We've already established the color palette. So let's get a manzanilla tree. Manzanilla bush. Yes, let's get random rotation. This is going to be lovely. Let's just get it. Just to kind of fill in those areas. Love it. Let's get another one down here. Yes. Okay, let's let's go in pretty swell. Let's get some salt cedar. I just do like the way that the these colors kind of build off each other. There you go. Let's get another one a little bit lower, just down there, just to continue that texture. Nice. Let's get some white sagebrush, just in here, let's drop another one in there. Actually, you know what, I want some of this, I want some of this down here as well. Boom. There we go. And let's get manzanita, I don't want manzanita. Big ones are all manzanitas, so let's go with oh, corkwood. Nice. Let's get because we do want to build up, you know, just like there are bushes at the edge because they don't just like it want it to look just like rock. So I'm going to feel obliged to do some rock work in there. So let's get some other trees. There we go. Oh yeah, we definitely need to build up that area. But we don't want it to actually peek through. No, that's fine. Let's, keep, let's indeed get an Antonita bush there, actually. That will I think if we do something like this, it will still look like. Yeah. Because then, even in the hairy scorpion habitat right here, it does. That does kind of look natural, right? I think that works. I think that works. Let's get some more of this. Yeah. There we go. That kind of fills that in quite nicely. We've got some nice overlap there, some nice overlook. But now I'm definitely going to change the rotation of this. Oh, no, we can't. That's fine. Just because it wasn't quite lining up with that, and that bothers me. That's okay. That is okay. You know what? Let's take some of this. Drop it in here as well, just to fill that out. Yeah. There we go. I'm pleased. Oh yeah, the crimson turkey bush. I love these. These are just, I just like the colors. I'm gonna pop that right there. Then we get another one right there. Let's get another pork wood. In random rotation. There we go. 
This oh oh I know what I want. Where is it? Where is it? No, oh, it's Manzanita. It's here somewhere. I have no idea if it. There we go. Umbrella Throne Acacia. Yes, that is going to look fantastic. Right. Just like building it up underneath there. And random rotation. All right. And there we go. That just kind of fills that area in. Nice. Okay. So for now, this is. I'm just going to see if they like this. I'm just going to see what's going on. But off camera, I do need to fix the pathing, and then we'll take a look at some of our prairie dogs. All right, we've got things fixed, and our pathing, yeah, I actually had to get the pathing all the way from, whoops, not completely fixed, I had to bring it all the way in from like, this bathroom, all the way in this side, all the way down here. I still need a lot of walls to, to fix and, and things to do, but we will be getting our prairie dogs in here fairly shortly, which reminds me, we should probably also give them new guest facilities, information, uh, no, not information, media devices and these things, educational board with speaker, let's get one of those in, there we go, let's get one right there, and this one is going to be, oh no, yeah, we don't actually have any of the uh, we don't actually have the prairie dogs in there right now so let's get the north american pack let's see what we got in terms of statuary we don't oh yeah it's because it still says mud let's see okay what what notifications did we get reindeer's offspring titan beetle red Minger. okay yeah let's get there's the sea lion here's the black-tailed prairie dog Prairie dogs. Let's just get one. Let's get, yeah, let's, I, I don't know. Let's get them with like their heads popped up. Yeah. That seems to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Random rotation that way, too. Okay. So let's, let's get another one right there. But then let's rotate you around this way. Yeah, there we go. Get you this way, and then let's switch to world axis. There we go. There we've got our prairie dogs. One's like sitting in front, one's like hiding behind. Actually, no, they're both hiding behind. But one's gonna be a little bit smaller than the other. So it's not obvious that they're just the same creature. There we go. Oh yeah, we also need, of course, oops, facilities. We need, oh, we need the, the money type. Yeah, where is that? Guest facilities. Merchandise? New entrance? Oh, finance. There we go. Let's get, there we go. And another one right there. Should get our prairie dogs. Where's our prairie dogs? Oh yeah, it's going to be a while because they're all the way... All the way up there. All the way up there. But yeah, here's gonna be our, our prairie dog exhibit. Let's see. Yep. And we've got so many animals in this zoo. I'm very excited. We've got our prairie dogs. I love it. It's raining. We got the sprinkler. The train is working. Nice. I'm very pleased with this. I think we're going to add some... I don't know what we're going to do up here. Maybe extend the seating area? No, I don't know. We'll figure something out. We will figure something out. So many babies! So many babies, this is just hard to deal with. Dealing with everything. In fact, I also need to... This is bothering me. It's placement. So we're going to put that in the corner right there. 
There we go. And then this is also going to get positioned just like that. There we go. I think this works for a prairie dog habitat. Again, I don't know what, what kind of terrain they need. I was also debating putting the prairie dogs here, but this corner just kind of gives gives people a reason to come this way. I think this works. I think this acts as a nice anchor. I was originally going to have like a path going through here, but I don't I don't know if we want to put polar bears there or if we want to put polar bears like up here. So I think this African section, I think we're going to get rid of the African section. I think it's just going to be too much. I think we we have the the harbor seals. Maybe we can put the sea lions in there too. I don't know. But we will see. <gasps> we got prairie dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at it. They're tiny little things. Okay. How do they like their terrain? Okay, they need hard shelter and they need more short grass. Okay, so let's paint some. Oops. Paint some short grass. There we go. Oh, you already like your. You already like everything about your train. Nice. Okay, now can you, can you get out? Habitat trans traversable area. Okay, yeah, that's water, so it's okay. Let's give them a little bit of a, of a smoothing down here. Let's recalculate this. There we go. Let's get some more smoothing here. So I want them to be able to traverse most places in their habitat. There we go, but they cannot escape. They are good. We have our lovely little prairie dogs. Black-tailed prairie dog. Now, where is the speaker? Nope, where is the speaker? Okay, whatever. I'm just going to put another speaker in there. Education. There's our speaker. Let's get that to... No, we don't want it to be ambient. Oh, yeah, it's an ambient speaker. Right, that's why that didn't work. There we go. There it is. Can we... Okay, let's delete that. Let's do this trick. There we go. Delete something. Click on something else. There we go. In fact, we're going to move you right there. We're going to then minimize your range, and then we're going to lower you into the ground. Uh, just maybe like that, just so we can still see you. There we go. Those are our prairie dogs. Yeah. And they appear to be, come on, Makawi, they appear to be enjoying themselves. They do need some toys. Oh, they, who do they, who can they live with? Who can they live with? Where's the Zoopedia? Interspecies, oh, they can live with the American Bison. I could have put the Prairie Dogs in here. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's okay. You know what? You know what? I think we're good. We've got our little prairie dogs. I do think this is a good way to to anchor this corner, just to kind of finish it off. And I think we're... Oh, yeah, they needed hard shelter. So maybe... Maybe... They can... Oh, I know what we can, we can I know what we can do. We can build... Kind of a little like there's like a smaller Pueblo building that kind of had sat out here. There's two. There we go. So let's go with mud. Let's get rid of this. Let's go with mud wall arch. Yeah, there we go. But we're gonna make it small because it's just for the it's just for them. It's just for the tiny little guys. There we go. We're going to move you just onto the inside so that everything kind of wraps up. Mud wall two. There we go. In fact, you know what? Let's just get a mud wall one. Let's do that. Let's take this. Bring it there. Drop it down. Let's drop it like it's hot. Can't believe I just made that kind of a reference. 
Alright. Not because it's a bad reference to make, but just because it's me, and that's not... No, I don't listen to a lot of Snoop. Um... There you go, and where's the, where's the rooftop? Mud wall top. Rooftop. There we go, we'll just do something like this. And then down, and then... Let's get the steps in. There we go. And this one is again going to do the steps, but like from back here. There we go. Do you have the shelter that you need now, little guys? Where where are you? Where are you? I don't even I don't even know. Oh, they're all over here. Is that the three? Yes, there's the hard shelter that you need. Good. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna, just because it makes a little bit more sense to me. Let's paint this. Let's just make this light soil in here. Because there really shouldn't be any long grass growing inside something like that. There we go. There's their little den. We're good. We have our uh, black footed prairie dogs. And people are already taking photos. They're braving the rain. Look at that. There we go. I'll maybe come back in, fill this in a little bit, do some rock. Maybe some rock work? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we will see. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, here is our black-footed prairie dog habitat. And, and I'm pleased with this. This is the first North American animal. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm Carter the Great Bird North. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. And, uh... Most importantly, and I do mean this, and I say this every single time, have a fantastic day, everybody, and I'll see you all next time in Planet Zoo. Bye, everybody.